Hi students, so this video we are making for the practice questions of income statement. As we already discussed that income statement is one of the financial statement which we are preparing. So know that how well we are, we are performing during the period. So income statement is giving us the information that how well we perform during the period, whether we were able to add some value for the organization or not. Students, in income statement, most of the time we ask the question related to cost of goods sold. So we will make some practice here how to calculate cost of goods sold and you will also have idea how he is asking the questions. Let's read the question number one. Saying, uh, as per the given data for a company, what is the cost of goods sold? We are having students beginning inventory for the finished goods. We are having cost of goods manufactured, ending inventory of finished goods, beginning inventory work in process, and ending inventory work in process. Students, remember when we discuss income statement, we discuss the formula, we said direct material, consumed in this one you will add direct labor you will add manufacturing overhead MOS stand for manufacturing overhead so the sum of these three will give you total manufacturing cost students in this one we were adding work in process opening inventory and we were subtracting work in process closing inventory and we will get CGM. CGM stand for cost of goods manufactured. Cost of goods manufactured. In this one students we will add finished goods opening and I will subtract finished goods closing. So this, this was the formula students we discussed when actually we calculated cost of goods sold for a manufacturing company. So why I wrote this formula because it's a reference formula in order to solve this question. Students you notice that this much work he already did for us. I mean we don't need to do all this calculation because he already gave us CGM here. So it means to say we just need to perform last two steps. So we will start student from CGM. Our CGM is 700,000. In this one, we can add our finished goods opening and we will subtract our finished goods closing. Say opening students, he told us it is how much? 100,000 and closing, we are having 200,000. So 200,000 is our closing stock, which need to subtract and opening stock need to add. So that's here, seven plus one will come eight, minus two, you will get 600,000, which is our option C. So like that, you have to get the answer. So the main point is this, you have to take a look which figure already given, and how many steps you need to perform more. Like here in this question, we noticed that half of the work he already did for us, like CGM he already gave us. So we just performed last two steps in order to calculate cost of goods sold. I hope that students, you will find this one useful. Next one, uh, we have one more question saying the financial statement that provides a summary of the firm's operations for a, for a period of time is income statement. Income statement is giving us the information about our operations, how well we perform during the period. So students, it was theoretical question, simple one. So here our answer is uh, income statement. Like if we discuss about other answers, like we know about the statement of financial position so statement of financial position is another name of balance sheet it is giving us information uh, how much assets we are having liabilities and how these assets are being financed 
So statement of financial position giving us the information, how much assets we are having and how these assets are being financed. Like if these are 100% financed through equity, so company will have zero liabilities. Statement of retain earning giving us the movement only about the retain earning, how much retain earning we were having at the beginning of the period, how much profit added during the period distributed and how we got the closing balance. Same as well, statement of shareholders equity giving us some other sort of information which we will discuss in another topics. So here the most appropriate answer is income treatment because income treatment is giving us the information about firm's operations that how well we perform during the period. Another question students we are having is uh, I'm doing question number three students. He's saying the profit and loss statement of an entity includes the following information for the current fiscal year. So here we are having general information. So again, students, we have to calculate cost of goods manufactured. So one more time, I need to write the formula for cost of goods sold in front of you so that I can guide you how we can calculate the cost of goods manufactured. Students, the formula we were having, we said direct material consumed. In this one, you need to add direct labor and further you have to add manufacturing overhead so like that you will get total manufacturing cost in this one you have to add work in process opening you have to subtract work in process closing and you will get the cgm once you add these or subtract this one you get cgm cgm stand for cost of goods manufacture so in this one wants to add finished goods opening and you subtract finished goods closing you get the cost of goods sold so i just wrote the formula in front of you for referral purpose only so you notice that here we have to calculate cost of goods manufactured and it's appearing in this formula. So imagine if all these things are given like direct material, direct labor, manufacturing overhead, I can easily calculate CGM, but here students, all these values are not given. So we must have to think some another way. We can see that finished goods opening and closing given. So it's mean we, if we work only on this area, at least we can reach here. So in order to start the work, we need cost of goods sold because here we will start cost of goods sold and through cost of goods sold, we will be able to make the reverse operation. Like here, I'll apply reverse calculation. Like students here, you know that we are having a formula sales equal to cost of goods sold plus gross profit. Here students, gross profit given, sales given, so easily we can calculate cost of goods sold. This will go another side. Sales minus gross profit. My sales figure how much? 160,000. And my gross profit, 48,000. So students, 112,000 is my cost of goods sold. So I was not able to start from here because I don't have the information, but at least I found this side information so that I can move from this side. So students, how much cost of goods sold we calculated? 112,000. Now here, in order to calculate CGM, we can apply the reverse calculation. What is the meaning of reverse calculation? Anything which we added before, we will subtract now. And anything which we subtracted before, we are going to add now. Like here students, before you subtracted the finished goods closing. Now, while you are applying the reverse calculation, you need to add back this one. So if finished goods students year end inventory, we are having uh, 58,300 you need to add and opening you need to subtract. So this methodology, we call it as reverse calculation See, one, one way things were not available. 
so that's why i have to make the reverse calculation in order to get the requirement of the question and the requirement of questions we are having we have to calculate cost of goods manufactured students once you will use your calculator your answer should come d all right i hope that this will helpful for you and like that you will learn how to uh, make the reverse calculation any point you are having some doubt you can uh, put the comment and i'll explain you later not the issue another question students we will do see this question looks very simple but I mean i'll tell you the complete concept about this question he's saying that to comply with the matching principle the cost of labor service of an employee who participates in the manufacturing of a product normally should be charged to the income statement in the period in which the in which actually the product is sold so students what's happening see as per matching concept say normal entry when you when actually the worker is going to work on the production so this is the normal entry work in process debit and accrued payroll credit so actually it becomes the part of your work in process and same work in process once it's completed like the first entry when we start the production we say is work in process debit and material credit second entry students this one and the third entry we say is that work in process debit and foh applied or actual credit as per the situation students once all three elements of cost already spent on the work in process this work in process will convert into finished goods finished goods debit and work in process credit so all the cost which you spend it will stay in the finished goods as our asset but it will expands out only when actually we will sell the product through this entry cost of goods sold debit and finished goods credit so that's why he's saying actually it will record as expense when actually product will sold oh, all right students hopefully you are fully clear about this question as well as i mentioned earlier if you will have any doubt you can mention in the comment section the last question of this exercise students uh, a retail entity maintains a markup of 25% based on cost like here you need to recall the concept we said that margin when we say is gross margin it's the percentage on sales when we say is markup it's the percentage on cost mean profit calculated on cost so here he gave us one information that the organization is calculating the profit on the basis of cost this is our purchase merchandise this is freight in sales we are having ending inventory and we have to calculate opening inventory students here remember, remember when we calculated the equation for trading company we said that opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock is equal to cost of goods sold so here students we need to calculate opening stock purchases we already have closing stock we already have if we just uh, calculate somehow through the given information cost of goods sold by putting all these three values we can easily calculate opening stock so let's work on the cost of goods sold students we are having sales equation cost plus profit we say is cost plus profit say your sales already given students our sale is 900000 and say our cost is equal to x and the profit is 25% of x students here if i solve the right side of the equation it will give me 1.25 x like if you add x plus 25% of x you will get the value 1.25 of x so here 900000 
dividing by 1.25 so on scale you will get the cost of goods sold which we will use further in our equation to calculate the opening stock because you notice that in this question we were having the requirement to calculate the value of opening stock so students here i'll get the answer 720000 closing stock i already have it's given here ending inventory 80000 and purchases students as you know that purchases uh, what will be the total cost of purchases total cost which we incurred to bring it till warehouse so when you are calculating the total cost of purchases these two things students you have to consider so here the total cost of purchases which we need to consider in the formula 690 plus 25000 so total you will have here students 690 plus 25000 is actually the cost of total purchases so your purchase cost how much you are having 715000 students here you got the purchase cost 715000 so we'll just sub we'll just separate all the values to other sides let's first solve these two one 715 minus 80000 715 students minus 80,000. It will give you 635. It will go another side. So opening stock is equal to 720,000 minus 635,000. So 85,000 students, you should have the answer. All right, so this was a small video just designed for you to have some practice. So in the same pattern, we'll upload, we'll upload the videos for all the major topics. Thank you very much.